What's going on, YouTube people out there, YouTube denizens, John Davis, Lachlan Highlands Farm. Today, I am building our first water pad, and I'm very, very excited about this. This uh, is a combination of some things I saw from Mr. Greg Judy, as well as uh, reading um, and listening to Joel Salatin and Daniel Salatin, just trying to make a better way to water our, our cows. And this is part of a project that's been going on for a huge, huge, long time. We started last year uh, getting water lines to pump water out of our uh, one acre pond, or quarter acre? Quarter acre pond, that we, <laughs> only off by a factor of four, out of our quarter acre pond to uh, get water out of that, pump it using an RPS uh, solar system, and then pump it hopefully to most of our farm, or at least half of our farm, and uh, get it over to the animals. So this is the culmination of that. That project required underground uh, construction, so digging and excavation, it required uh, getting the water out of the pond, and that requires some uh, um, excavation and I'm trying to make this sound like really important, but I, you know, words words are hard. How about uh, top of the soil engineering, construction, whatever. We're gonna do some of that to build a level pad because everything we're on is a hill, build a level pad where we can put a uh, water trough that will fill with water and uh, we can actually use um, lazy valves, uh, Joby uh, float valves, so that we don't have to fill water every day. This is much better, you can see what I mean. We put a hole in the fence here, so uh, this is our divider fence on what we call our walnut pasture, and this is on a, on a grade that you can see. It's always hard to get the grade from the camera, but it's on a grade. So we, sp we put a hole in the fence so we can take that 300 gallon, 20 inch tall, and we pick 20 inches so that our sheep can drink from it too, 20 inch tall water trough, and build a rock pad around it so that the animals don't mud up the ground because uh, you know cows will stick their heads in and they throw water all over the place build a rock pad around it so it doesn't mud up the ground around it and we're going to do that so we'll have you know half the water trough here half the water trough on that side we're going to use these four by six landscape timbers and put them together to basically make a uh, um, a flat pad that we're going to fill with gravel so we, we put landscape fabric down or geotextile fabric down inside so we don't get weeds growing up. Uh, we fill it with gravel and uh, or crushed stone or whatever you uh, you know want to throw in there. And then we're uh, we're good to go. So that's uh, that's the general idea. I'm going to get to work on the construction. I think I've got my dimensions all squared away. Uh, we'll use the magic of time and the internet here. So magically it'll be instantaneous for you, but hours for me. You will see what turned, you know, went from one post into an entire setup here. So let me build this and then I'll walk you through what I did. Miraculous video. All right, guys, it's almost dinner time, so just uh, got this wrapped up, at least for today, and, and getting it going. But that's a geotextile for a road bed. Um, so I'm going to put the road, the road, haha, going to put the uh, stone on that and use that to uh, you know, keep the weeds from growing up and the stone from going away. But when I shot that with my transom up there, my laser transom, I found out we're like down here in this corner, the low corner, we're out like... 18, 19 inches. And I set this guy on top. That's a four by six. I set him on top. I don't know if the cows and the sheep are gonna wanna jump over that. Now, I guess I could always excavate, put some dirt around it, you know, do something like that to uh, build a little ramp up to there, but I don't know. Um, you know, that's, that's the tank. Like I showed you before, it's pretty big. I know it doesn't have to be brimming full or exactly level, but the other dimension I have to be careful about is that tank is 20 inches tall, and I gotta keep 20 inches from there to there. Now it can be tight, I don't mind that, but I gotta keep that 20 inches there so I can fit the tank under there. So it may be one of those things um, where the tank's a little bit unlevel, but if I can still get you know 250 gallons instead of 300 gallons, or even 200 gallons instead of 300 gallons, um, that's okay. That's still more water than, than we had, and this is still a better a better watering pad. So, well, you know, it's one of those things. It's a uh, um, it's a compromise. Now, what I did do that I want to tell you, um, I did use six inch uh, deck screws in these corners, and I put a bunch of them in to keep going. And the bottom corners I ship lapped, and uh, I did drive two foot um, sections of rebar two in each corner on the second row and I mean this thing she ain't going anywhere uh, the, this is very sturdy I've got eight pieces of rebar driven into the ground here I think it will be fine so we'll give this a shot I don't know I got a break for dinner I got the dinner call so I'm gonna break for dinner I don't think I'll be able to get this hooked up tonight 
but um or not hooked up but filled up with rock but uh at the very least wanted to show you to you this is the next day and it is so gratifying to see them drink that is so cool talk about something that took like a lot of work <laughs> months and months oh gosh i mean a hundred hours probably and to see her drink water from the trough is just pretty cool. It's not perfect. It needs to be leveled out. Um, that that corner there, my neighbor has, uh, oh shoot, what do you call it? Limestone screens, I think, that he brought some over just to put on top of that rock. We're uh, When they get off this paddock, we're gonna drain that, um, pull it out, we'll put some limestone, lime, bleh, limestone screens under it and uh, level that tank out a little bit. But from, like I, was, I think I said this yesterday, from here to here, actually from here to that far corner, it drops like 18 to 20 inches. It's pretty insane. So, and it, you know, it doesn't look like it when you're standing out here, but that's the way it is. I'm so excited about this. We'll have one of these tanks, actually two of these tanks in this field, and then two in the other field, and we'll dig more water line and uh, get it going. But this, oh my gosh, this will be such a game changer for us. And they're all scared of the rock. They're funny. What are you girls doing, huh? Moo! Cows, cows! Hi, Summer. So cool. Good stuff. Talk about delayed gratification. My heavens. Uh, God bless you, and uh, thank you for watching. There'll be more videos definitely on this. Tomorrow, we've got a, a big project. I've got some buddies coming over to help out again with getting the uh, creek bottom project squared away. We've got some work to do there, so we're going to be chipping a bunch of branches tomorrow and uh, and getting that going. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, John Davis, Lachlan Highlands Farm. Visit us, LachlanHighlandsFarm.com. You can go to our store, order meat. We ship to all 48 states. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless you. Talk to you soon.